guys? So I'm here with uh, Christian Urena. You, you already know, aka Gunther G, and uh, he just yep. won the remote to YCS. Let's go, Gunther. Yeah, yeah. yes, still yeah. the same. So, um, bro, uh, what what decks you play? I uh, play Tiana. The only deck, baby. So uh, he's gonna show off his profile. But before we do, uh, Gunther, any, any shouts? <clears throat> Uh, shout out to the store on Match Gaming. Shout out to Luxury. Shout out to Edgar. Edgar's right here with me, chilling. Hey, let's go. Uh, shout out to Tyler as well. Um, shout out to all the bozos that supported me the whole tournament. They're insane. Yep. Um, obviously, shout out to Pack, Pack, Damn. Pack, and Hani. Always do most of my testing with them. They always help me out. Let's go. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If I might, I might be forgetting someone, but worst case, we'll put it in the comments or something. But, okay. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good. All right, let's get into the profile. <laughs> All right, cool. So we the Tier Lawrence, uh, two Rhino Heart. Yep. Three Merly, three Havnos, three Sharon. Mm hmm Yeah, I think it's pretty standard. I think everyone's playing pretty much these. Maybe yeah. a third Rhino Heart if you want, but don't want to break on them, so. Then for Shizus, I maxed out on them. Up three Gita, three Kelbeck, three Medora, and three Keldo. Um, these are the best cards in the game right now. Like, these are the reason why I want to play this deck. I always want to mill five. I always want to have these shufflers in my hand or like try to mill them off other cards. Um, I think everyone should max out on these. These are just the best cards. Yeah, we saw Jesse did that last weekend as well at you know Costa Rica. So, and then the last two monsters, uh, one hair of orange light. Um, it's limited. I'm gonna play it. I don't think you should side deck it. It was so good last format. Like. If I was playing it at three last round, I think you should still play the one copy. Yeah, one copy of Diviner. Um, it came up like twice. Uh, it's mainly there's just you can make end on Baron against like rogue matchups. Like it's really important. I feel like to end on Baron, so you can get like Necrovalid or Defigure or whatever. So you have like, another form of negation. Um, also having the graveyard for Elf is just really good. Um, this is a good mill. It could be the third Rhino Heart if you wanted to play a third Rhino Heart too. But I like Diviner. It was pretty good for me. And then for the spells, oh, if you see, uh, if you notice, I didn't play any beast shields, to you, which is kind of yeah. crazy. Yeah, I was about to. Well, I mean, we'll get into that as you show the rest of the the, the non engine slots you play. But maybe you can explain your theory on why no beast shields too, because I know I I entered with beast shields and a lot of people did as well. So mm -hmm. I think you're the only person in top cut that actually played no beast shields in their tier deck. So uh, for spells, uh, three field spells, fourth field spell. Uh, this is the best card too. You, you always want to open up this. Um and then um, two scream. Uh, this is insane going first. Like opening up this card or just being able to mill it, it's really good. So always we get to switch like a free solid or crime. Uh, instant fusion, ban worthy card is insane. If you open up, probably um... <laughs> so lucky. And then uh, for my non engine, I play three super poly, three talents. Um, these are like. Like the like the best ones like going first. There were like there wasn't a bad going first if you do these. Like Talon's insane going first. You open up this card going first and you open up like any way to play. Like and I always mill five. So if I mill any effect and they mill anything, they're gonna trigger it and then I get to shuffle it back and then I get to look at their hand and then the game pretty much over because you can set up your board depending on their hand. Or you can draw two cards if your hand's really bad. But I almost always looked at my opponent's hand and then like kinda made my board based around what their hand was. Uh so probably was really good for me all weekend. Uh, people kept playing on Dwella Rukalos or like Rukala, like one guy ended on like Rukalos Rhino Heart or something. And like if you go like Super Poly pitch like one of the shufflers, um, you can like take the Dwella Rukalos and you chain the shuffler, shuffle them back so he doesn't get the Rukalos either. And if he has any shufflers, you get to shuffle those back too. So this card like could single handedly like win you the game if they end on that board, which a lot of the time I don't use hand, like I don't use BSs or anything. Everyone's making King Talents too. So I kind of like the like board breaker approach because. Good talents, like it happened a couple of times where my opponents just have dead talents in your hand because I didn't trigger any effects. And a lot of times, my opponents are playing around Beast Shields too, and I don't even have them in my deck, so that also like was a little bit like bonus. They have to, like, one guy went like Rhino Scream, mill two names, like milled one name, something another name, triggered both because you would lose to Beast Shield, and then their end boards are like way weaker. And sometimes they have to make like if they end on Dweller again, like they end on Dweller Carlos, which is a pretty common board, you get to just like super poly them. Um, and another, another time, like, there was a time I went, like, Summon Rhino, sent a name, it got, uh, banished, I went Sharon, sent a name, it got banished, then I went, like, Super Poly, take both my guys, make kit, get effect, and then I got the Fusion Summon again, so, it was, like, a, almost the fourth way to Fusion Summon that's not just, like, Instant Fusion or, like, a Brandon High Spirits, kind of, so, 
There's like a lot of utility in this card, I think it's pretty good. I, I liked it. Uh, Shu Ping actually told me to play this, or he was playing his deck, and I took that from his deck. And I think he was, instead of the talents, he was playing uh, Droplet. So, and I, I really like talents because going first is way better. Um, Droplet going first is really bad, and sometimes you need all your cards to be live going first. So, and then, so that's good. And then the last two cards are just two traps. One select, one crime. Uh, I play 40. I wanted to play the second select, but I really couldn't find space. Uh, it, like, the only thing maybe you can have this Diviner, but I really wanted access to Bear. So, but, yeah. Easy. Oh, sorry. Guess, 40. Yep. This this, so, yeah. so you didn't use it in, like, best deals because, like, you think that because people are main decking more talents. I saw Jesse main deck talents this remote invitation as well, or, or YCS. And so, like, I guess it kind of makes sense. I mean, you just don't like Bistils, or what's your overall thoughts on them? You just think they're breaks, or what? Uh, I'm not a big fan of them. I think that, like, they, every time I play with them, I usually break on them, or if I, if, like, they're really good in the mirror match, but against Sprite and Fonderies and all these other decks you're going to play against, like, they're really yeah. bad. Like, they're actually just neg ones. And they, sometimes you only have, like, two to three cards to play against a deck. Yeah, And yeah. you're not you're, you're not super, like, in the mirror match if you don't draw one. Like, I, I beat a lot of mirror matches without drawing any. Like, if you watch any of my future matches, like, yeah. I just beat them with this, like, I just resolved like a haveness and I have to smell like two names and like that that beat them or like my haveness smelled like one shuffler and like that was enough or like I kill back bounce the dweller and like they played into that so like I, and then or like I do super poly and I get the super poly the two cards so like I don't think you need them mm -hmm. for the mirror match yep I've seen I've seen a lot of OCG lists didn't play them either so that kind of gave me the enough like to play without them as well and like I've been liking it like the last way since I topped without it also I mean we had Mystic Mind but. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a whole other card but this time we just switched like we played like talents and super poly which are like pretty good team and these are also good versus like pretty much all the river decks also like spray and like other decks like that so my talents are just insane so yeah it makes sense yeah yep cool um uh, extra deck baron like i said earlier oh played it this way other way yeah this way yep cool yep mm -hmm. so baron um gotta play this diviner herald Made it like three times. Pretty good. <laughs> uh, Rakalos, Kaleida, Kit, Drake, Sapalia, Garuda, my dragon. I think you just need to play all these. Yep. Makes sense. The six standard fusions. Sapalia's insane, right? Like, it came up for you to make Barone with as well. Yep. Yeah. Came up for Baron. Came up in the finals against Thunder. Uh, Summon a defense so you don't get like Lightning Storm or anything. And then you get a card. So it's pretty good. Nice. And then for links, one sprint, one elf, one dark. Um, yeah, these are just pretty generic. I think everyone plays these. Oh, uh, one question I wanted to ask was: Did you, did you consider playing one Jewish worm? I know you played dark charmer, but like, what if the, was there ever a situation where like you took your opponent's magnum and you wish you had an extra Bissil in your deck? You know, like in the mirror match, especially. Uh, it happened once. It okay. Happened once where if I had that should be still I could have maybe. But I still won the match. I still won the match anyway. The game anyway, so. It came up once where I took his Magnumite, and like I kind of just used it for like damage, mm -hmm. and he had no, he was top of the cards anyway. And I had a Solic, so it's like I think it was fine either way. But I guess the extra beast there would have definitely helped. But yeah, most of the time in the mirror match too, like if I like uh, if I like target their shuffler or my shuffler or something, they'll just shuffle back their Magnumite anyway a lot of the time. So you actually like I guess most players just never have a chance to actually activate Dark to target the Magnumite because mm -hmm. they'll just keep shuffling it back. Yep. Or even if you go if you go dark target the Magnumite, they'll just like shuffle it back, or they'll just use their Beast Shield to banish it so you don't search. But they don't, I, they don't know I don't play Beast Shield, so that's like a, that's a, another bonus of not playing them. I guess they yep. just like play around, play around for no reason. And then for XYZs, pretty generic. Uh, Best Dweller, Fusca. This card is insane. I made it so many times. Uh, Redoer, uh, Zeus, Beatrice. Uh, Beatrice I made like twice. It only comes up in games where you have to dark a beast shield and then uh, make Garuda. Um, you definitely have to play it. I guess she does come up a decent amount of time. And I would definitely play this again. Um, yeah, I didn't miss any other extra deck card. It was pretty good. I think yeah. I made everything at least once. Yep. Did Wall ever come up? I know that's like the 15th extra deck slot, the flex. Oh, uh, no. Nah, not... Wall didn't come up. Beatrice okay. was pretty good for me, actually. Okay. Oh, now the side deck spice. We're about to see the goo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> my side deck was basically like nine cards. Like I didn't use like six of them, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, three Zombie World. Uh, two Necro Banshee. 
kind of foolish to go with the Necro Banshee. It's also a starter. You can just mill five randomly. Uh, you can take out like, some deck cards versus some other matchups. Uh, I really like this foolish. Like it was, I drew it like twice. It was insane. Like milled five. Or I got to like my opponent and I'm like a Kaleida Heart and like two shufflers in the grave and like a Selic. I got to like foolish a shuffler, shuffler, shufflers back, and then I only had to deal with the Selic and the Kaleidos, and that was that was really good. Um, uh, three dark rulers. Uh, this card's against Wondery Sprite. Uh, I won me against Sprite matchup in top four, I believe, and against. I always put it in and you're going to could it put it in going first or second. It's really good. The, um, the cards I pretty much didn't even play with, but they're here. Three matches, these <laughs> uh, Explain the logic. Uh, basically, the logic was if you get to use any like, like Keldo or Medora or Sharon or Field Spell. I guess you have a couple other cards. I guess plus side you also have Foolish Burial. So you, and you have Instant Fusion. And I think that's about it. Or a few more cards, I guess, and trigger like a Gita. Basically, if you use any of these cards with Majesty Fiend, you just like go like Keldo Medora, search your card, should be someone from Majesty Fiend. And then there, there's only two, there's two outs in your opponent's deck. It's, it's Scream plus Field Spell, which. Most people side out Scream going second because Scream is really bad in the mid-match going second. So that card shouldn't be in their deck. And then the other out is uh, Instant Fusion for a level 4 monster to make like a rank 4 or like... I think it's a link monster big enough, but not really. And the only like the only rank 4 is uh, Redoer, which they have to crash anyway. So they have to use their Instant Fusion and the 4 to crash it. And then the other out is Sulik, which they have to set it and wait a whole other turn and almost summon a monster. So like... Yeah, that was my reasoning behind that card. Um... I put this in last minute. I thought it was good. Like, the theory was good. I should have tried it out a little bit more. I mean, I never drew it, so I can't... I don't know if it is good or not, so... But I did mill it a bunch of times, so... <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I don't know if you want to add any of that, if you think, like... Yeah, no, I, I think we talked about it. Like, we, we were also thinking about, like, where... If you have to play in a way where um, you don't get bestialed, because if you do, um, then your opponent has a 2,500 body that can beat over the Magister's Fiend... So, like, you have to play very specific where you set up a way to special a monster without committing the normal um, and then, like, tribute over Magic's Fiend without ever playing into Abyss Seal, right? And it's it's got... It also would be a card that we thought would get a lot worse in Top Cut because if people know you're on this, they might Abyss Seal you early on random cards, which actually might help you out um, randomly enough. Mm -hmm. So, like, it, it wasn't like... Yeah, it's just like... Okay. It seems like it was a cute thing to try, you know? It doesn't hurt. Yeah. yeah. If, I, if I had Sharon and Magic's Fiend, I would go, like, Sharon tribute for Fiend if I had it. And it would yeah. Just pass. I'm like... You have to draw, like, literally scream that shouldn't be in your deck and a field spell that. Like, yeah, it's really hard really out. Hard. Really Even really if you draw out. the scream, like, you still need the field spells. And then, and the, then last the last card. card <laughs> three, uh, speaker. <laughs> <Godwin. laughs> yeah, yo, the goo? <laughs> uh, this actually won me one match. And it, was, it wasn't even, it, we had, like, t we had, like, 25 minutes left. And I, like, spooky dog him. And he just started, like, scrambling. And he just didn't know what to do. And then he ended, uh, he was playing, like, uh, adding Nister. And yep. if he ended on the towers, I would have lost. But instead, he went like uh, used four level fours to make uh, math mech to search like a robbery. Mm -hmm. um, he only gave me like three or four thousand life points, but I was definitely happier to play against the robbery than an adding Nister with like five thousand attack. Because I don't think I, I don't think I would have an out to that. So yeah. Also, I think you were telling me about this match. I think he also talents looked at your hand. Like like you 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 got talents, and you hand up them a little bit. And then that spooky dog would stop him from making an arrival, you were saying, right? And then that, like, that won you the game. But if the guy just, like, committed yeah. full send into and gave you all the light points, you would have won, you know, which yeah, is crazy. Yeah, it had plenty of time for him to just, like, plenty kind of play yeah. out and, yep. and stuff, so. so. But, yeah, right. that's the deck. That's the deck. Well, dude, congratulations. Two-time YCS champion now. Um, Thanks, I mean, bro, bro. More, more to come, you know what I'm saying? This is the start, but... uh. Yeah, dude, that's gonna be sick. Can't wait to see your the trophy now. Welcome to the the remote dual champion club. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate right. it. But of course, shout out to Luxury Gaming, like I mentioned before. Shout out to uh, Gunther Store Unmatched Gaming. And uh, this video will actually go out on Monday. So if you guys are attending Philly Regionals, which I will be uh, with the rest of my team, Source Gaming, uh, definitely go check out Gunther. His booth will be vending the uh, the regional. So if you guys got extra cars you want to sell, bulk or whatever, like you know, bring some stuff over to him. And uh, say congrats to him too in person. But anyways, I'll see you guys uh, this weekend at Philly Regional and the comments, hopefully. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.